Hey everybody, welcome to another 40k video, this time talking about Demon Codex and one of my favorite tactics to play with a Demon Army. Uh, I'm going to share the secret with you now. I use the Petroglyph, Portoglyph, Petroglyph, something like that. It's the one that generates uh, Demon Units. Now, very quickly, let me explain my tactic. Uh, it's a 4d6 deviation, but you don't care. Here's what you do. On your side, of the, I build my entire army around this one, basically, uh, what is it, Hellforged Artifact. So you take an Exalted Gift, you trade it in for the Hellforged Artifact. I take the portal, and I put it on my side of the table. And I put it in the corner in the corner right in the corner why do you do this i'll tell you why because it says in the rules that if it deviates off the table or into impassable terrain you move it to the minimum safe distance to put it on the table so if you take the portal put it in the corner on there you can see 90 degrees is covered you deviate anywhere in there, even one inch. You just put it in the corner. You're getting rid of the, uh, of the uncertainty. So what do I do with the rest? What I do with the rest is I take an Aegis defense wall. Yes. I put it about uh, eight to ten inches out, depending on how lucky you feel, covering that area. So I section off that corner, however far it is that you can put all the wall sections so that it goes from table corner on the top, on the side, to table corner down at the bottom. However far out that is. I don't know. It's pretty far. So far, I've never had it deviate beyond the Aegis wall. It's somewhere in there. Or it goes off the table edge and just lands in the corner. I put the Aegis wall around it. I put the Icarus Cannon inside of it, and I just leave it there. Game over for me. Uh, I have then a whole bunch of other close, well, everything else, I'm not going to go into it. But basically, that's the idea. Put it there, put it in the corner, put an Aegis Wall around it, and just generate freaking troops every turn with roll. They got to come all the way across the table, all the way over your Aegis Wall. You're going to try to shoot it? Okay, it's a vehicle with 12 all around, but that Aegis Wall is there, and the Icarus Cannon, and you're going to have to shoot through that. There's no way to get over that unless they get all the way to your side of the table, over the Aegis Wall, through the units that the portal is creating every freaking turn, and then destroy it. And all of those units are troop choices. And you just move them out. So you have your other rest of the army, you send it way ahead to mess with people, all the smegheads on the rest of the table, and this little portal is sitting in your side of the corner, generating units every single turn. Unless they really make a massive effort to get down to your side of the table to stop that, I guarantee you, it will be worth every turn of it. And then you just create whatever units you want depending upon the uh, the army that you're facing. Maybe you need demonettes. Maybe you need that. Maybe you need whatever. You literally get to create your army on the fly during the game. Try it. You'll like it. And watch more. Bye.